These are the Minecraft Essential Handbooks. More specifically, these are the old Minecraft Essential Handbooks. I recently just found out that I had all four of them, and I decided to beat Minecraft the way old Mojang intended it. So here we go. I started on 1.8.9. I had the new edition of the Essential Handbook, which came out in 2015. That's why it was that version. Once I loaded up a world, I was greeted with an island, which the book says is bad. As you can see here, the sideways villager looks pretty angry. I tried it again, and the same thing happened. Island. Third time's a charm. Let's do this. I got a lucky spawn. Let's go. I got trees, water, animals, a village i got a super lucky spawn oh wait right the villagers aren't really that good with trades in the older versions and it's still nice the book tells you to make all the wooden tools even though i only make a pickaxe because you get stone tools like right after but you have to follow the book right away i started killing some animals for food because in this version your hunger bar goes down really quick over half of my hunger bar went down just running around trying to get food the book tells you to get coal I did that. After you're done getting the coal, you have to turn the hole you dug into your base. While I was making my base, I got distracted by this weird glitch. I don't know what was happening. Stop that! Apparently, I only had to make one chest. Hopefully, there will be enough room. I started cooking some food, made some sticks, and started making some stone tools finally. Apparently, you're supposed to make a little window so you can see the outside world. You also need a corner to hide behind so you don't get attacked. I dug down and searched for some iron and found some almost instantly. I did a big no-no and got some wood while it was getting dark out. I decided to just sit by the window and hope that I didn't get bored. I got pretty bored and made myself a pet. His name's Dan the Man. Look at my home, isn't it amazing? I did a big funny right here. Goodbye, cow. I found out that skeletons are not that difficult at all. It did not shoot me once. I guess they made skeletons a bit harder when they added shields. Hello? You're not- Ah! Yeah, I'm not lying when I say that actually jump scared me. Don't ask me why. I killed three endermen in one night and got an ender pearl early. I spent the rest of the night hanging out with Dan the man. The next day, the blacksmith chest had iron armor. I put it on even though I wasn't supposed to have armor this early, but it's probably fine. I went mining for only like five minutes and got a stack of iron. I'm telling you, iron is very easy to find in old Minecraft. Look at this. Less than five minutes. How? At this point, I could finally make a bed. I also tried out this thing that I completely forgot that you could do with the crafting table you could repair tools but i just used the strategy to get rid of a bow that i didn't want thanks book. it's time to go mining for diamonds unrelated i found the super secret settings and had some fun with that oh geez no i'd i'd get get rid of that please is this i don't like that either i mined for about 12 minutes and found a dungeon i beat up the skeletons and put a torch on got the loot from a chest there was a music disc but it was 13 so you know no the skeletons kept spawning for some reason so i put some more torches on dude why are you still spawning is this good enough for you this huge ravine that i was in had no diamonds in it whatsoever i searched from top to bottom this obsidian would be really helpful right about now if i already had a diamond pick while i was searching i found this bat that just straight up killed itself if there's one thing i've learned in these caves it's the iron is extremely common and diamonds are extremely rare. I was finally happy that I found diamonds, but then I realized it was a two vein. This is me mining for almost 40 minutes and not finding any diamonds. I forgot how exciting finding diamonds used to be because you could never find any. So yeah, in total, probably almost an hour of mining and only two diamonds. This is sped up by a hundred times, okay? This is the fastest that my editing software can go. I probably entered about 20 caves without finding anything. Until... Was this a sixth vein? No. Was it seven? No. It was an eight vein. Finally, all my work had kind of paid off. But that's not even the best part. Only a minute later, I found another vein of diamonds. I didn't care if it was only a two vein. I got more diamonds. Here's some footage of me running back. Just so you know how much I mind. And here's my underground base. Diamond pickaxe, diamond sword, and... Wait a minute. I still needed an obsidian. Wait, my entire floor is made of obsidian. Never mind. Uh, ignore that. Once I finally got back up to the surface, the next step was to build a proper base. I went out to fight some more mobs because thanks to the combat handbook, I was a professional. I finally slept after a long several Minecraft days. I started to make a front yard and here's the result. 
Yeah. I made a tree, a table and chairs, a waterfall that goes really slow when you go up it, and a small shallow pool with a bench. I kinda... kinda need some oak wood. Uh... If anyone asks, you don't know. Also, can someone tell me why the rabbits are so big in the older versions? It told me to breed some animals. I did that. I was allowed to finally make armor. And now I'm protected. Beacons existed in 1.8, but it told me to make a dirt pillar for some reason. I tried to get the achievement where you shouldn't kill a skeleton from 50 blocks away, but apparently I wasn't 50 blocks away, so I didn't get it. I then had some fun skydiving. And I'm glad I didn't die. Wait, I'm alive? I guess I'll never know. It told me to make a clock. Guess what I did? I did that. I set out on a quest to find sugarcane and found three, but I couldn't find any more. And definitely thanks to the pillar and not the village that was literally right there for guiding me back home. Thanks, book. I planted the sugarcane right next to my waterfall for some reason and waited for it to grow. And now, it's time to make a proper house. Step one, create a simple one block tall outline using cobblestone blocks. Add a slight outcrop at the front for an entrance and a slight dip at the back for a rear porch. Okay, you know what? It's not gonna be exactly like the one in the book, but it's gonna be a lot like the one in the book. Step Two, build up the first floor walls. Fill in your first floor using wood planks. Huh, <laughs> no. Step three, build up the second floor walls. Use a handy wooden staircase. Huh, <laughs> no. Step four, glass or something. Step five, extend the front of the house upward in a triangle shape using wood planks. Then use wood stair blocks to create... And hey, look, it's done. And now that I've officially moved out, it's now Dan the Man's home. I made a map, but it's not the right size. And there's no cartography tables in the game, so what the heck? I looked it up and forgot that you had to craft it with eight other pieces of paper. But of course, I didn't have enough. Waiting's not fun, so I became a mass murderer. In the game, of course. I didn't know what to do, so I just flipped a door for 72 hours straight. Another thing the book told me to do was make a minecart system, so I did that. Uh. I got the paper needed, and I expanded the map, but guess what? It didn't work. And it's time to die in the nether, but first I made an enchantment table. And with the enchantment table, I enchanted nothing. So anyways, here we go. I spawned in another cave. That's always a bad sign. Hey, look at that. I found an... Outrance, is that a word? I got out of the cave, and now it's time to spend half an hour finding a nether fortress. Oh wow, I found one. Run, 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 run. I did not deserve that. I'm glad I found my way back to the nether portal. I was out of food, so I made some baked potatoes, which just look awful in the older versions. While going enderman hunting, I found all the sugar cane that was right next to my house the whole time, and I didn't see it. I made a creeper blow it all up. I don't know why. After a lot of Minecraft nights and Minecraft minutes and real minutes and almost dying, I have enough ender pearls for enough ender eyes, and it's time to beat the game! <laughs> And just like that, I found the stronghold. Don't ask how long it took me to find the portal. Too long. Hey, look at that, I'm in the end. Wait. Oh, oh my god! That would have been a really bad ending. Oh my god, why did they do that? No, 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 Well, that's, that's the end of the video. This is the outro. I'm not even gonna ask you to subscribe, because if you don't, then I'm gonna find you. Um... Oh yeah, and also- So if you're watching this in Saudi Arabia- oh.